So I don't think that this is absolutely clear, so I wanted to make a video, just a quick one, to show how the behaviors in ProPresenter 5 work. When you add a background to a song, it's not the case that the background sticks precisely to this song. It's the case that this is where the background starts, and until something replaces it or removes it, it will continue on. So, I start this background, and by the way, the text is in this video. So, it's running right now. And now I click on this, and we'll see that we have this other text, and so on and so forth. Now, if I go to another song, you'll notice that I have another background up here. If I skip clicking on this background, and if I click on another word, uh, another set, it's going to keep the same background until I either click down here in the video image bin to replace it or click where the background has been replaced. So if I click up here, then it replaces. Now, if I were to go back to the previous song, this is a clear background. So this blue triangular background will remain when I click on Mighty Fortress is our God, our bulwark never failing. In order to replace this background, I've got to click on the background that I want to replace it with. And then it replaces. So it's not the case that this is the background for this song. Now this is the background until it's replaced by something else, and all these just have a clear background. It's also the case that in this song, this is not the background for this song. This is the background that replaces anything previous, and these all have clear backgrounds. Just to be clear on how ProPresenter does it. Not saying that's good, bad, indifferent, that's just the way that they do it. So once you understand that, that's, that makes it a little easier to deal with if you've had problems before thinking that, why is it when it does it one time this way, it doesn't do it the other time this way? Well, that should be the case that it falls at. And if it doesn't, then there's something else going on. And we can investigate that a little further just by giving me, uh, dropping me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, or leaving your comments below this video. So I hope that helps you. Until next time, this is Paul at, from trinitydigitalmedia.com.